Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Star Wars Corner. We are going to be covering Deal No Deal, which is episode six of the final season of The Clone Wars. So we're gonna jump right into our video. Before we jump in, make sure you leave a like and subscribe for more Star Wars content. So I'm going to be covering this episode um, kind of geographically or by location. We go to three planets, and that's actually one of my favorite parts of this episode, is that this is the first time within Season 7 that we've gone to quite a handful of places. Um, the Bad Batch arc kind of just, we bounced between Anaxis and... Um, Skako Minor, which was awesome. It was great. Um, but within this one episode, we go to three different planets and three pretty cool planets. Um, so first off, we have Coruscant. And Coruscant, I'm not going to spend too much time talking about what happens here, because for the most part, it's a recap and kind of a rehash of what happened in the last episode. Ahsoka is with Trace and her sister Rafa on level 1313 of Coruscant, which is a, a low level that is like... Um, um, poverty right there and they're pretty disconnected with the upper levels where the Jedi and all the politics happen so last episode we saw that according to them according to those citizens in the Republic the Jedi have lost touch and are off running around starting wars which eh, there's some truth to that um, they're not wrong but in this episode we kind of get the the idea that also they're out of touch with a lot of the greater galaxy and we see this in trace and her sister rafa in a lot of mistakes and kind of just naivety if that's a word that they make um so coruscant they take off from there in uh trace's starfighter the silver angel and right off the bat trace makes some mistakes she hops in the military lane which brings us to one of the coolest scenes it's got some real return of the jedi vibes there when Anakin and Ahsoka connect through the Force, and Anakin lets them pass through. One of my favorite scenes. Um, but they leave, they leave Coruscant, and they come next to Kessel. And Kessel, if that sounds familiar, that's because it's been referenced quite a bit in Star Wars. In A New Hope, we find out that this is the the planet that that Han Solo makes his famous record-breaking Kessel Run in the Millennium Falcon. Comment below if you know what that time was um, for the Kessel Run. And also Kessel, we find out in the movie Solo and throughout uh, other pieces of Star Wars canon that Kessel is a primary exporter of spice. And spice, if you don't know, is uh, basically used to make drugs in Star Wars. Um, but it's also used to make medicine, and we get both sides of it in this episode. So when in Rise of Skywalker, when Poe talks about being a spice runner, he basically smuggled drugs. That's basically what Han Solo did as well. Rarely was it used for medicine, especially when we're talking these smugglers and stuff like that. They weren't smuggling it for medicine anyway so they get to kessel and they actually get to a part of kessel that we've not really seen before and that was the nice part of kessel the part of kessel where the the royal family the king lives and they interact with his major domo which was basically in the crime families and the crime syndicates um the guy who was second in command he did basically all of the things that the the leader did not want to do whether it was a king or whether it was Jabba the Hutt even had one that was Bib Fortuna was his major domo so they interact with him and they have dinner with him they kind of talk and there's there's some tension there um, but for the most part the sisters are eager to jump in and do this job while Ahsoka has some reservations she knows what spice is used for she knows the sketchiness if you will of their situation and kind of the legality of it and the morality of it and she struggles with that especially when they get to the part of Kessel that we're familiar with and that is the spice mines of Kessel we saw it in the movie Solo and this is a point where they're, they're dropping in and they see what they think are people and this is yet another moment where the sisters are kind of out of touch with the greater galaxy these droids are actually people and uh, Trace makes a comment like, wow, that's a lot of droids, and, and Ahsoka is like, yeah, those are people, and actually they're probably slaves. And, and it leads then to a conversation that's actually confirmed when we see the Zygerian slaver. Um, we've seen them before in previous episodes. That's confirmed that they're all slaves at the Spice Mine. And then 
on their way out, the sisters are like, well, wouldn't they do, wouldn't the Republic stop slavery? Wouldn't they do something about this? And Ahsoka, yet again, another moment where she's kind of morally struggling, trying to figure out where she um, is at in her own journey with the Republic and the Jedi. And she basically responds like, yeah, you would think so. Um, ideally, yes, the Republic would do something about this. Ideally, yes, the Jedi would do something about this. But you know what maybe they are busy running off starting their wars and stuff ahsoka's thinking she's rethinking um everything that she's grown up with she's rethinking everything about the jedi order about um the republic and and we see that tension unfolding and it's something that we're going to continue to see unfold so from kessel they go to obadiah and obadiah was introduced to us in um season six of the clone wars and this was when um anakin and obi-wan followed the trail of Cypher Dias to Obadiah, which is the headquarters of the Pike Syndicate, which the Pike Syndicate is important because they're, I mean, they're a big name when it comes to the spice industry, when it comes to basically illegal crimes. Um, they're one of the syndicates, one of the crime families that gets brought into the Shadow Collective, which is Darth Maul's or Maul's little thing that he puts together towards the end of Clone Wars. But the Pike Syndicate, they're the ones kind of brokering the deal, and they're on Obadiah. So Trace, Rafa, and Ahsoka, as they're approaching Obadiah, start debating the morality and, and the different options that they have in this mission, in this job. And through all of it, uh, Trace kind of freaks out. She freaks out and is afraid that the Pikes are going to take her ship. So her response is the worst response she could have had. She dumps all of the spice. I think actually Ahsoka and Rafa were probably on to eventually figuring out some sort of alternative. Um, but Trace is just freaked out. So she dumps all of the spice and upon doing that, um, they've got to fly by the seat of their pants. Uh, they don't know what they're doing. Remember, Ahsoka was trained by Anakin. She spent her time with Anakin, who was the master of out there plans, plans that just seem crazy. When you write them down on paper, that's not gonna work, but that's the way that Ahsoka was trained, and she's she's got a plan. So they arrive at, at Obadiah, they meet the Pike Syndicate. Essentially, it's like, okay, Jedi mind trick time. They they get the money and they're on boarding about to leave and the pike syndicate they they eventually put it together that wait there's no spice in these crates uh what's up with that and they kind of just quickly close the hatch and like rafa i think yells like oh take it up with kessel they must have uh, sorry we're the middlemen um but from there they're trying to escape in the silver angel but they get trapped there and that is where the episode ends so overall i actually thought this was a really good episode i enjoyed it a lot more than last week's um, i think a lot of people um, myself included are pretty excited to see um ahsoka and where she fits into the greater story of the clone wars at this point um i know we're looking forward to a lot of things um, moving forward but i thought this episode was foundational in telling the final story the final season of the clone wars uh, i've said it a few times and i maybe alluded to it but i think that this this ep this season we've had a lot of episodes that were maybe slower or shorter or not what we were hoping for um, upon watching it as an individual episode but I think, and I'm, I'm holding to this, that all of those episodes, um, I, I would say the last two episodes especially, um, fall into this category. But I would say that once we put all of those together, once we're able to view season seven as a whole, it's gonna be the best season by far. Um, I'm holding to that, and I think that that's absolutely true. Um, but let me know in the comments below, what um, has your favorite episode of the Clone Wars final season been so far? We're, we're halfway through, I think. We've still got a lot to go, um, but it's been great. I appreciate you watching. If, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like, and if you're looking for more Star Wars content, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.